Hello guys, it's me Amin here. Today I'm going to show you how you can create fire in Adobe After Effects. Um, right now you can see uh, how it's gonna be. This is the one uh, I want to show you how you can create uh, your saw uh, in Adobe After Effects. And this is basically uh, I'm gonna demonstrate how you can uh, do it uh, in Adobe After Effects. Firstly, um, for doing this uh, video, I mean, like doing this fire effects, um, we have to create fire first. So for the fire, um, here all I did here. Um, firstly, I create a mask. Uh, I use um, this um, ellipse uh, pen tool. Then I uh, create a new solid, solid layer, white solid layer. Uh, before I'm gonna start, um, I'm gonna close all of this so you can see how you can create your uh, um, fire. I'm gonna close all of the layer. Um, yeah. So firstly, uh, you gonna uh, create a new solid layer where the background is going to be completely white. So after creating white background, um, then you um, click on your uh, your uh, layer so it's going to be completely white then you can create a mask around white layer like this like you can click here click like here click here click here click here so like this way you can create your mask and after creating mask um, I'm gonna do it because I already did it. So after creating mask, you can then feather it out. You can click F feather. Uh, click on this one. So feather. So you can feather this one. Uh, I did about 77 pixel. Then you'll duplicate this one. Uh, this uh, layer, white solid. Then duplicate this one. Then I'll just put it on top of this because um, this one is not the thick one so I want to uh, make it more thick and I want to make it tall uh, so for the tall effects I want uh, I take this um, mask I mean this layer on top of this one so if I open it you can see it looks like more bright then then you can get to you can create um, more mask if you want for example I created this mask in the middle if you want you can create this one then uh, I create a texture for this one so texture is uh, basically um, you can see some noise inside of the fire otherwise it wouldn't look realistic so you, if you want to make it realistic you should make a texture so that it's gonna show some of the noise inside so uh, for this one um, I um, Take a, like a solid white solid layer then uh, after that I put a face called fractal noise you can search here fractal noise fractal and then after fractal noise if you click here fractal noise I choose a dynamic twist and noise type is soft linear and evolution um, you can choose our time into uh, for the evolution you can click Alter plus here, alter plus here. So if you click alter plus uh, evolution, you can see uh, dialog here. So you can um, put a effects time into 150 like this. So you can do it this way. So um, then it's gonna move. So time into 150. So right now if I open it, so the fractal noise. Um, basically I didn't turn it on um, if I turn it on you can see how it's, you can see in the middle there is some noise so basically it's just going up because of the evolution I put evolution so it's showing some of the uh, movement and also um, uh, I think um, the texture for the texture you also can um, uh, 
create sub setting I uh, just change some of the sub settings here uh, sub influence I put 25 and sub scaling 68.6 complexity you can see 3.9 contrast i increase the contrast because if you increase the contrast it's gonna look it you can see it, uh, the noise so that's why i increase the contrast and also brightness i also you can see only five because um, uh, contrast is more important to show the noise so that's why i increase the contrast then um i duplicate the white solid here um, to create more noise so basically this one is also texture um, I will rename it texture 2 um, basically that was texture 1 texture 2, two. so texture 2 you can duplicate texture 1 then you can take it to the top I mean like you the same mask um, the mask before uh, the white solid was here that I uh, click the same mask uh, control plus D duplicate the same layer then I take this mask from here to on top so if you take it to the top you, you can see something like this uh, this one factor noise um, uh, you can see I change some of the settings evolution I put like time into 150 and offset turbulence I put if you click alter plus here um, all the plus here you can see um, basically all I did here is like I put a zero uh, comma zero comma then I put uh, turbulence um, y effects about uh, minus uh, 500 so if you um, uh, right now turn it on I mean I like play this video so you can see offset or you can do one thing if you don't know how to use the offset turbulence then you can click here just only click here then if you get to the end of the comb and if you want to take it to the top you can change it like uh, you can take it to the top or um, so it's gonna you can change it like this way so after doing this all this then you get to the comp uh, comp here uh, main comp so basically I do have that fire um, if I turn it off all of this so that I can show you how you can do that um, basically the fire uh, that's the one I just got it from the background uh, basically I have to turn it on the adjustment layer I forget to show you the adjustment layer here hue and saturation um, basically here I use the tin basically first tint to make it black and white the all the effects then uh, I use the VC color variance you can use the VC color variance it's a completely free plugin from um, video copilot if you get to the video copilot website this is completely free VC color variance you can change any color I choose orange color here then I you know, also use curve uh, effect to make it some contrast to increase some contrast here then I put a glow to make it uh, more brighter and make it more realistic um, so for the glow effects um, you can uh, put this uh, value I put glow threshold it is 7.1 glow radius 62.0 glow intensity 0 0.9 and the all the setting it will be the same so no change here then I also take, um, make another adjustment layer then here um, I put effects terminal in this place you can play with the offset effect uh, you can play either alt here plus offset here or you can just click here then change the value from at the beginning you can put one value and at the end you can change the value so you can see how it's gonna be evaluation you can put time into 150 or 200 uh, alter plus evaluation if you click it here you can change the effects the, for the just like the last time uh, what I have shown here or you can just only click um, evaluation value and just click and change it here um, so this is the uh, my fire effects already is uh, the it's already done you can see now I am gonna create here some of the effects so this is the main comp after creating fire then um, I 
create duplicate this one control plus D duplicate this one and this is the fire uh, just the same layer uh, I put a screen the last one then I add it here if you don't see this one sometimes um, um, there is a toggle switch you can change it um, so basically here you can change it add mode and here you can put a screen mode then um, I put a displacement here um, displacement map so basically displacement map I use the fourth uh, I mean like duplicate fire uh, what I just control plus D duplicated fire the same comp I just use it for displacement map so if I use the displacement map you can see how it's gonna be uh, just on a displacement map I just use here then you can see it's gonna be like this then I use BCC wave um, I mean like for the displacement map you can um, either use um, adjustment layer or you can just make a new solid then just put a displacement map and then choose the comp which one you want to play with uh, so I choose here this uh, fire for layer then you can change the, um, some of the value here 13 and maximum vertical design change it to 174 then I use the paint plugin if you don't have it you don't need to use it um, I use the BCC wave um, the value is here 0, 0.0 um, height 15 wave width is 50 basically this is important to see wave width then if I click it here you can see the uh, how it looks like um, then I also used um, here web displays um, and web displays is a plane with original 25 and number of generator 5 and each phrase I changed is just some of the settings uh, from 0 to 1 or you can change it to 2 um, so uh, right now you can see most uh, it looks uh, realistic far then I used um, uh, small uh, I used another fire here so it's going to look like um, more realistic so the same comp I just duplicated control plus D then lastly what I did uh, I just uh, put a new solid layer new adjustment layer sorry and then I put a smoke uh, basically it's a dizzy effect um, um, effects if you don't have it you don't need to use this smoke yeah, but if you use this smoke it's gonna look more realistic because um you know when fire is like um you know every fire whenever you see fire there is smoke and without the smoke it doesn't look like realistic so if you don't want to use it it's still okay but i wanted to use it as i have this effect so this effect uh, effect so I used it here and the um, uh, value I used here you can see uh, 174 uh, 277 for the alpha threshold alpha weight 768 random seed 26 genital layer threshold 15 and the other thing is almost same I do not need to change it then this is the way you just can create your fire own fire so i hope guys you enjoyed it uh, thank you guys for watching it hopefully see you next time